My name is Andy Smith, and uh, I've got a beautiful wife. Her name is Jen, and we've got three sons together. My oldest son's named Malachi, my middle son's named Elisha, and my youngest son is Joel. Uh, my family and I are newly appointed uh, missionaries to the country of Honduras, and we're going to be working with uh, an organization called Latin America Child Care in, in the country of Honduras and be living in the city of Tegucigalpa. Well, uh, Latin America Child Care runs uh, a system of schools in the country. There's 14 schools in all, and so we'll be working with those schools and kind of just um, helping in the administration and things of those schools. But more than anything else, um, we really want to invest in the lives of the students. We're going to live in the capital city of Tegucigalpa, and there's uh, most of the schools, about half of them that we'll work with, are actually in that city. Um, Tegucigalpa is about a million and a half people or so, and so you can imagine with any city that size, there's all kinds of different city needs, and especially. Um, Honduras is the fifth poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, so it, uh, um, so imagine a city that size in a poor country, and there's lots of needs there. Gang life and gang lifestyle are just running wild in that city, and especially it's affecting the lives of the kids, and so. Um, we consider it a great privilege and a, what, a, what an incredible opportunity we have to be able to, to enter the, the lives of the kids and, and hopefully make a difference over time. Right now in the country of Honduras, there's a lot of violence and there's lots of, uh, lots of reasons for kids to check out of the education process and really enter a lifestyle that's just going to take them down a bad road. And so hopefully what we, what we hope to happen through the work that we're doing is we're hoping to intervene in kids' lives at an early age and just encourage them to stay in the education process, to, to stay on a, a process and a path for their life that, uh, that leads to something that's, that, that they want, something that's better for them, better for their family. Right now, our biggest need is we, we can't be approved to go to the mission field until we've raised up our monthly support, our monthly budget. And so um, basically we're, we're relying on, on individuals and organizations that would invest in us on a monthly basis, long term, uh, because the work that we do is long term. We're, uh, we're hoping to, to meet students sometimes in the second or third grade and, and help walk them all the way through high school and enter college. And so, so we're looking for um, maybe low level uh, monthly commitments to us financially, but, but something that we can partner together long term. Um, we have uh, a link to uh, a website that will let you set up uh, an automatic donation that, that goes monthly um, through your debit or your credit card. And it's, uh, it's a very easy thing to, to jump onto that website and to give. And really, um, there's, no, there's no wrong amount for people to give to us. It's uh, um, every little bit helps, you know, and every little bit helps towards the team. and so. Really, what we're hoping to offer kids is hope for their future. Um, because in some of the neighborhoods we've been in and, and some of the places that we've been around the world, you find that um, as much as people need food and clothing, and, and the schools that we work with, they do help provide food and clothing for the kids. But as much as they need those things, the biggest thing they need is they need, they need hope. They need someone to to, to hold their hand and, and walk beside them and tell them that tomorrow can be better if they're willing to put uh, some effort into it today 